Hugh Hefner. Hugh Grant. Hugh Laurie. Hugh Jackman. What do all of these people have in common? That's right. They're all rich. They're all in the media. And they're all filthy, filthy Hughes. Since the beginning of time, the Hughes have been undermining and subverting our society. That's right, they've been subverting our society before our society even existed. That's how deep this goes. We can trace the Hugh lineage back to the 10th century where a French king was called Hugh Capet. That's right, the first Hugh was a king. You think that power just went away? CEO of the Telegraph, one of the largest media organizations of all time. Nick Hugh? Matt Hugh? McConaughey? Hmm. Interesting. And what of Hugh from Jimmy Neutron? Could it be that this is all one big Hugh conspiracy? I'm just asking questions here. Still don't believe me? Remember that king from France? Who is the most famous French novelist of all time? That's right, Victor Hugo. Coincidence? Impossible. The Hughes might have even made you misremember some of your favorite childhood stories. For example, Horton hears a Hugh? Created by Dr. Hughes? There are two main issues with the Hughes. The first is that they only like their own kind because they think Hugh is such a cool and manly name. And it is, they, they got me there. But the second main issue is that they're all space traveling demon reptilians. I am off my medication, yes, but that's irrelevant to the point. The name Hugh means heart, mind, and spirit. And it actually details their three-step plan for controlling the world. First, they enter our hearts by being in the media and capturing our attention with their chiseled abs and enormous penises. This step has already happened. Then they get into our minds, trying to replace our language with Hughish gibberish. What's next? They teach our children to count one Hugh, three, four? I don't think so. The next part of their plan is to subvert our very spirit. And then what will happen? Interracial marriages? Save that filth for the disgusting degenerates online and my favorite website, blacks.com. Dear liberals, my Asian girlfriend is fine. It's not white genocide if they're pale. How much longer can we let these people subvert society? How much longer until the streets run red with a crimson hue? I urge we take action and get rid of these hues once and for all in a plan I'm calling the Hulocaust, a final Hulution. These statistics are startling. If you ignore everybody that's not a Hue, 100% of people are Hues. <laughs> Weird. It's almost like I'm working backwards from a very specific conclusion in order to find data points that reinforce my narrow worldview that I'm emotionally attached to because it was sold to me by someone trying to recruit me to their side of a culture war by making me believe that there was a singular group of people that I could blame all of my problems on and that this worldview, which should be giving me comfort because at least I have a reason for my suffering, instead just makes me a twitchy, useless degenerate, incapable of furthering my cause at all, because all I can do is go, Hughes, 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 everything's a By the way, Aunt Susan, thank you so much for manipulating the algorithms in order to get another one of me in the media. You know what I'm talking about.